All right, today I have a hair styling video. Now, I promise I am not trying to be a normie and do freaking hairstyle stuff. This is specifically for my blue collar girls and any woman that works with her hands. Spe specifically, if you want to have long hair and you don't feel like you can have long hair. Like, I've literally had extensions down to my ass for like the last four years. Never had an issue with them because I braid them, usually braid them. So I'm going to show you guys today a braid trick that I do that I wore in the shop for a long time and never had issues with. So let's get into it. All right, so I start with my hands like this uh, because we're going all the way around the back. And to me, my brain just doesn't function if I braid it down and then have to like switch my hands up and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a Dutch braid which is the same thing as a French braid. You're just going under the middle section instead of over the middle section. And you can leave some pieces and parts out like for your face framing if you really want to. I personally don't do this. Now what we're gonna do is I have some baby hairs up here so to keep them kind of tamed, I'm going to do a full Dutch braid which means you take pieces from both sides and you're bringing them in just like a French braid until I get all my little tiny pieces like thoroughly wrapped up in this braid. And once I do that, then it's only the bottom, okay? I'm only taking from this side and under and then the top is just going to go under again. We're not taking any hair from the top anymore. This also kind of helps pull the braid down a little bit. Um, I do have some baby hairs growing in right here so just I know that doesn't look the best. So I'm just going to show you now instead of talking so I can fast forward this a little bit. All right, so once you get to about there, you're just going to, if you have a little hair tie, which I do not, you can secure it there. What I'm gonna do just to keep it held in place is I'm just going to braid it down a little bit so it stays. So as you can see, I just braided it down and it'll stay like that enough at least to get the rest of the side. So this other side, like I said, you can bring some pieces down here. Uh, I just don't have any, and I find it them a little bit annoying, especially with safety glasses. So the next side, we're literally gonna do the same thing. All right, we're gonna take the little hairs up top. If you have nice thick hair, you can literally just go right into like the half Dutch braid, but if you do not, and you are like me, you are going to have to fuck with these little hairs and make sure they were they are completely into the braid before you start doing that. All right, and you're literally gonna do the same thing once you get past those little hairs. Dutch braid, you know, only the bottom is going to go under the middle and you're gonna pick up hair from the bottom. The top will go under the middle just like normal, but you are not gonna pick up any hair from it. I actually think this makes the braid pop a little bit more and you're just gonna do that all the way down this side again. All right, so once you pick up all the hair, this is a really important part, keep it as close to your scalp as possible. And if you can tie it right here, I would, but if not, then you can literally just undo it and you are going to be able to then work that into this braid. Try to be as even as possible. All right, from here, you can continue to just normal braid it, but I don't do that. So what I do is I split 
my sections in half and I pull it tight and I do a fishtail braid. And a fishtail braid is basically you take one little piece from the outside of each side, bring it to the middle. One piece from the outside, bring it to the middle. So there's no like, you can just braid it if you want to. I just like to do this because I think it adds a little bit more depth. And then you can pull these braids out just like any other braid and make it look fuller. You can pull these out too, but this guys, like you can girls, you can put this underneath a hat. You can lay on a creeper and you don't have that annoying bump of a fucking ponytail or a bun. And if you're doing something extreme like you can literally just tuck it into your shirt i know that seems stupid but i literally used that for welding cutting grinding literally anything where i might get my hair in the way i can just tuck it in my shirt <laughs> 